Last episode, we once again journeyed into the depths, discovering new resources in new parts of our world. It was an important step in our advancement to copper, geodes, and deep slate. All will be essential for the creation of our empire. Now, we are no longer survivors. We are rebuilders. And it's time to rebuild the world. One step at a time. Welcome to the Survivor's Let's Play. Hello everybody, welcome back to MC Panda to another episode of the Survivors. It is episode 11 and we're here with Ishan. Hello. And as you can see, it is our second episode on the Caves and Cliffs update. Ishan has his spyglass there. And yeah, in our last episode, we went mining. It was a really cool video. We discovered copper and amethyst geode. And we made these spyglasses. That was a trip. Oh my god. So in today's episode, we will be... Essentially, I want to start building the road that will lead from this Mesolithic village to the castle. And, uh, yeah, it's going to start around here and it's going to go all the way on a bridge over the river and over to that area on the plains. I'm not really pointing it out very well, but uh, essentially I'll be planning the road today and hopefully making a good start on it. Uh, before we start the video, we need to go back in time. So, it's currently about 10 minutes before I've agreed to record with Ishan, and I thought I would build a little prank for him when he comes online. So, you'll notice I have a name tag called Sleep Monster, and this is a pit which is very, very close to his bed. And essentially, I'm going to lure a zombie or a skeleton into here and give them this name tag so they don't despawn. And then I'm going to cover this back up so that when Ishan tries to go to sleep, it's going to tell him that there's monsters nearby and he's going to have no idea where on earth it is. And we're going to see how long we can get away with this. So currently it's daytime, but I'm going to wait for nighttime and lure a zombie into here. And we've got to be quick because he's coming on in about 10 minutes. But we're going to see how this goes. Yes! Now she's given him the name tag. No, I don't think the in-game player names are on, but... We did it! So now... If I go and try and sleep in Ishan's bed, it should say that there's a monster nearby. Yep. And he's going to have no idea where it is. Now, let's get Ishan on and see how he reacts to this. Let's go to sleep. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, there's monsters nearby. Why is that a thing? Like, monsters... if monsters are nearby? I don't know, I guess it... I mean, in the olden days, if... In, I say the olden days. Back in Alpha... not Alpha, but it was more recent beta in Minecraft, monsters would actually wake you up. Like, when oh. you went to bed, there was a chance for a monster to wake you up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, why are you Steve? You're Steve again. Where is it? Uh, it could be in the cave, like by the stage. You killed it, good. I think there was a skeleton there, was that it? Uh, I think there was a zombie somewhere. Because I think this is too far away from your bed, though. It is. For the 11th it's episode nearly... in the what? In the... It's, oh, it's nearly midnight. I can zoom in on the moon. Yeah. My spyglass. Come on, Creeper. Cool. Into the lake you go. 
Have you just given up on going to sleep? Yeah. See if it's see if it's gone now. Yeah, I can hear it if it's somewhere here. Wait, has it fallen into the area with the campfire, maybe? It can't have, because it would have died. Uh... I don't know, then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought something. Remember that that original very, very good hiding spot you had? That I instantly yeah, destroyed? Yes, yes. Yeah, mind that out. No, it's not there. <laughs> But where is the monster? You know the preparation I was doing before the video. Yeah. Oh my god! You didn't do at you didn't actually do that, didn't you? Somewhere around here. <laughs> you put somewhere a around in here. There. Uh oh. Well, there's your bed. So the zombies probably. About here. I knew you, you had something to do with it. Sleep monster. Not, last time I heard it was supposed to be no <laughs> sleep for you. God damn it, panda. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a successful prank. That was so. That was so funny. I hate you so much. Yes. Okay, so, after that successful prank, we can actually start with the real episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the little flashback I did to my preparation. I hate you. I completely hate you. You know, you know that the intro I recorded for another video? Yeah, that was this one. And... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, without further ado... I'm going to begin building the road to the castle. So my plan essentially for this road, it will start at a roundabout about here, where it probably... We probably want to have the portal kept there, but... Uh, we're going to, where these caves are roughly, have some kind of roundabout and a road connecting it... Grass paths connecting it to this area. This is always going to be like... And this is going to be an area we keep in the world, as the Mesolithic village had started us off. And then it's going to go around, and then it's going to go on a bridge across the river, behind the portal, across the river. Okay. And then it's going to go around the pontoon and the stage and everything. And then it'll head over the plains. There's nothing on the plains, so we don't need to worry about any structures there. I see. So I'm going to start doing the bridge design, I reckon, in this episode. And then basically just getting all the deep slate and placing all the deep slate blocks I will do off camera. So let's start by marking out where these supports are going to be. If the bridge begins about here... Then I need to do the clearance first. <laughs> So one of the things I am doing in this series is whenever I cut down a tree, I am replanting it. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm going to take these saplings and I'm going to replant them in another location. We've had to cut these down because they're in the way. Okay. And I mean, look at the terrain anyway. The terrain is pretty ruined. So I have a stack of 52 basalt, which should be enough for, to begin making the supports. The bridge can start about here, and we can probably have the first support here. So the first support is Y66. Okay. Oh, lightning just struck the lightning rod. Oh, that's where it was. Cool. Oh, for goodness sake, he shot. I'm being literally. spawn killed by a baby zombie. Is a baby zombie okay? Oh my goodness, so you're being killed by something that's smaller than you are. So my basic, my plan for this is to get the road surface in first, and then we can detail the edges and create, uh, and create the barriers out of cobblestone and andesite, and then the towers with the fire at the top. Uh,
So now I just need some iron bars and a tower. The not the tower, like the thing that will hold the fire will be done. Don't know, don't care now. So now we're gonna put to Iron bars around here, and we're gonna light the top of this on fire. Ah, yeah, as you casually did. Do you have any netherrack on that? Yeah, per good. Um, I don't want this in here, this in here. So now, no, I don't want that there. As you can see, the first of the towers is finished. Now, it's going to have, on the end, it's going to have some... It's going to have basically some kind of railings out of cobblestone. So you're not going to be able to walk off the edge. So there's going to be one of these towers on the other side as well. And there's going to be one here. And three more along the length of the bridge. Or six more, I guess, because there's going to be one on each side. <laughs> So I'm not going to build them all on camera, I'm going to build most of them off camera just because it's going to be boring to see the same thing over and over again. And I also need to collect some more deep slate to finish the road surface, but you can kind of now see how this bridge is going to how this bridge is going to look. I'm going to now add some of the cobblestone railings. So this is going to require some stairs and some possibly some slabs. But mainly some cobblestone stairs. Because along here we're going to have upside down. Along here we're going to have upside down stairs. And then some more on the layer below. And then probably a railing out of slabs. Oh, if only they had calcite slabs, those would work so well here. Yeah, that should be really good. Do you have any maps? Uh, no, but you can make one out of paper and compass. Do I have a compass does to begin with? So, as you can see, this is how the main part of the bridge is going to look. So, we're going to have calcite along the top and iron bars. And then some stairs up to where the road surface is. And this is going to go along every layer. And it's hopefully going to have a dramatic effect. Hopefully. And this is what it looks like from on the bridge. There's going to be some gaps where you can look through. As you head along this grand road. And this has this has turned out slightly different to my original plans. However, I do I do really like this. I do really like this design. And I think I'm definitely going to keep this going across the entire bridge. And even though it may not even though it doesn't fit it doesn't fit very well with the Mesolithic village, I think it should be able to provide that almost transfer between the different worlds. The world of the old, uh, the old ancient Mesolithic village and going through, we've still got the fire, we've still got kind of the rustic stone materials uh, and then going up to the castle over there, which we will get started on eventually. We're not ready just yet, uh, but we will get started on at some point. Uh, and off camera, I am Anna. going to finish this bridge. I'm going to complete this section for now. And then the rest I will do off camera. You give me that right now. You have no right to steal my stuff. What did I steal? Um, it's not you, it's a drowned. Stole okay. one of my choking. Hey! And, it's, uh, and I now... Have Taken. I'm one block short of calcite. Anna. You shall, can I have some of your calcite, please? I only have one. Yes, I'm one block short. 
Um, yeah, I just need to, um, I need you to help me here. Okay, I'm coming. Wait, uh, can I have your one block of calcite and some cobblestone, please? It's in my, um, my man cave. Oh, for God's sake. Yep. Yeah, this is why you need dirt on you. No, just kill the top layer. Kill the top layer, so now everything that's beneath it is just a hollow. There you go, perfect. Now, Panda, 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 before you go, I want to show you something. Yes. There you go. Oh. oh. It's the map. Nice. It's, um, it's not very zoomed out. You might want to zoom it out with some paper. Oh, you can paper. I need a cartographer. But... Yeah, you need a cartography tape. Well, you get anything yeah, that's cool. It's almost... Yeah, it... That's cool. Like, it, it's not on a border, so you get almost everything apart from the bridge. Apart from the bridge, but who cares about that? Yeah, it's got, it's got like, the ruined portal. It's got the panda sanctuary. It's got the main Mesolithic village at the top. It's got the destroyed stage on the left. Mm -hmm. It's got the farmland. It's got the trees to the east. And it's got your little cave house down there. Yeah, all I really wanted was the um was the map of the Mesolithic village, but yeah. Okay. So that's all I really wanted. I'm gonna put that in an item frame or something. Yeah, put it in an item frame in your house. Also, Ishan, I need your opinion on something. Oh, yeah? Do you want a secret tunnel from your cave house to the castle eventually? That'll be cool. Yeah. I can make you a secret passageway that leads underground I mean, to nice. the castle. That'd be actually really pleasant. Or you can take, or you can take the main route, which is the bridge. Yeah. Okay, so that is the first section of the bridge finished. And uh, obviously, now I am gonna add some calcite here so that it goes down more smoothly. But obviously, I need to collect some more calcite to do that. But you can see what the bridge is going to look like now. Obviously, I've got a long way to go, but I will get as far as I can off camera next episode I can show you hopefully some progress on it uh, but you can see the design I'm going for with this bridge and it's going to be epic uh, so over the next over the next few episodes we'll be going on various adventures and building various things to do with the road and to do with uh, and to do with the castle so, thank you all for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to see more content like this. Next episode will be out either next Wednesday or in two weeks' time. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.